Hello everybody and welcome back to Challington Farm. It's a new day, which means it's a new field. Uh, we finished field number 17 in the previous episode, which means we're now moving on to field number 15, which is a wheat field. Oh, let me stay on the road. We did a barley field, so we're going to do a different crop now. The good thing about us going to this field is we're nearer to the south point, so we shouldn't have as much downtime, if any. Uh, the bad thing is... The uh, combine doesn't seem to be following me. I've got a tractor behind me. There should have been a combine as well. But not to worry. We'll sort that out in a minute. Now, just need to spin around and put this header on. Uh, I still can't master the detaching header and then detaching the trailer. I've tried the shift and Q, can't get it to work. I think it might be the header trailer. It might not be the right one for the header. But yeah, just going slightly off topic here, the Iron Horse Farm uh, map, the baler which we were using, very good baler. However, I can't find a trailer to pick up the bales with. Now uh, I've downloaded many different mods which look like they work with conventional bales but not that type of bale clearly which means I'm in a bit of a position. Um, I did explain this in the multiplayer video. Now I could just go and do them with a tractor and a bale spike but that is over 250 bales um, so I'm not really too keen on that. So uh, I think really what I'm going to have to do, unfortunately, is sort of write those bales off. Uh, but instead, I have got something else lined up. So don't dislike just because I said that, because I have got something else which I'm sure will go down very well, um, especially as I've been reading a lot of the recent comments on those videos. So I'm hoping it will be quite a popular thing. Now I'm not concentrating. I need to go around this way. Oh, another thing. You will see that this is actually destroying the crops. Now, um, I didn't download any destroy crop mods. I've been given a few mods. None of them, however, say they destroy crops. So I actually have no idea at all where that mod has come from. I really do need to find out. So if you're asking for a link for the mod which destroys crops, um, <laughs> I can't help you. I just do not know. I have not downloaded it. So I really do need to find out as I need to credit the author. But when I find out which mod they, that came with, then I'll be able to let you know. Okay, so first combine, we need to unfold the header. We're going to be on a worker. It's a very, very extensive field, as you can see. Also quite an awkward shape. Right, this is where it got to. Messing around on the road. We'll get this one set up as well. Now I don't know if you've heard it, or if it's just me that can hear it, but the sound keeps making like a, a crackling sound. I've heard it do it before. Um, I'm not sure why it's doing it. So I'll have to try and sort that out for the next video. The good thing is now we have lots more space, so I can spin around and put the header somewhere.
I probably need to update my sound drivers or something, that's probably what it is. It's making some weird noises. Right, okay, we're going to be on the left. We need to unfold the half, so that would help. And the header. And that one is going as well. So, what I'm going to do is save the game here, restart my computer, and hopefully that fixes the problem. See you in a split second. And we're back. So hopefully that sorted the problem. It does it from time to time. It's not a massive problem, but I think it must be a sound driver. You may not have even heard it. Okay, so the first Lexion I set off, our Lexion, is ready to be emptied. It's full. Uh, the second one is just starting off. Can't let it overtake it, though. You can now, though, as someone did write rightly point out that you can set a distance between the two machines which I may have to use just depending on how close they get to each other now someone else suggested actually a few people suggested using the chaser bin and I like the idea a lot however the chaser bin which we get uh, with the base game the Horsch um, I actually bought and then overwrote the save game and the reason for that is because it was massive. It looked ridiculous behind any of the tractors we've got in this uh, in the game at the moment. Behind this, it was huge. I mean, this trailer is on the limit, really, because this thing's being pulled back. You can feel it. Um, and when it's full, it really is heavy. So I sort of decided against it, but I would like to use it at some stage. We're going to have to get a bigger tractor. I'm looking at more mods. I'm hoping to get some more mods in the game. I know I have a fairly limited amount of machinery at the moment, but that is going to change. Uh, looking for some John Deere's. I've got my eye on a fairly big John Deere, so we'll hopefully get that. And that should be very useful for the chaser bin. So, yeah, that should uh, go quite smoothly when we manage to get that set up and running. Um, if you don't know what I mean by the chaser bin, which I'm sure you do, the auger wagon is what I'm referring to. So, we're going to use it at some stage. And that can now continue. Now the reason why I couldn't do it with the class tractor is because that has still got barley in. Which we must go and empty. These tractors could also do with a, a good wash. They're quite mucky. While we're down here, we'll take a look at the silage pits and see if they've fermented. If they have, we'll be able to set the loader going, start to sell that. When we get there though, we'll just have to jump back into the Massey Ferguson to unload the other Lexian. Right, back to the Massey Ferguson. Ah oh yes, they're ready. The first one is. Second one is. Good. So we're going to have to rent, I think, a wheel loader. Because that little New Holland we have isn't really going to be able to get the job done very quickly. So uh, we probably can afford one now, but when we've sold a few more trailer loads, I will go and buy that. And it'll be able to crack on uh, while we're working. And then suddenly we'll have lots of money which we'll probably spend on the new John Deere.
this is one massive field. I think it is the biggest one. It looks like it is. I think I'd say it was. 14 is quite big too. That one's almost full. We'll try and fill it. And that is very good timing. It means we're now level with this tractor. I'll jump out of that one and into this one. We'll go and unload the other combine. And then it means they'll both be fairly empty. So we should be able to get to the cell point and back without any downtime. Off we go. This is heavy. Right, what can we get for this one then? This should be another 25,000 I think we worked out to be. Obviously dependent on the price of giving. But it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, 25,650. I think that is what it was last time, so the barley must be a very similar price. Uh, which is not, that really isn't a bad price, especially as we've got all that silage to sell. So I think very soon, we will buy that wheel loader. The field is slowly decreasing. It, it takes quite a long time to begin with, I find and then it suddenly just disappears the field because it gets smaller going around the outside it uh, just suddenly is done like it's not as big as it looks when you've done this especially with two combines on the go yeah someone said that they did the field 17 with that small New Holland Combine, uh, that, the really small one, I don't know what, what number is it, let's have a look. The TC, TC590, someone said they actually harvested that entire field with that Combine. You know, I don't think I could have the patience to do that. That is a big field and that is a small Combine. So, wow, you must have patience if you did that really, it's incredible. Seems to be the case, one combine empties, the other one is full. Lovely sunrise over there, coming over that hill with a hot air balloon. Right, so this trailer is virtually full. The combine isn't, but I'm going to try and fill the trailer. And then the timing should be about right that they are full again, going up to that side over there, which is where the other tractor is. So I'm then going to leave this trailer by the gate. We'll take them both at the same time, and fingers crossed we'll be able to empty them both and get back uh, without any uh, combine time to wait. That's the plan. I 
think it's got enough in it. Not quite, but we'll just wait. There we go. So we have one full trailer, one empty trailer, and uh, when we've filled them both, we'll take a break, and then we'll continue probably uh, two days from now, I think, because I've got a Iron Horse uh, episode tomorrow, uh, where we're going to be doing something different instead of the bailing. But yes, if anyone ever does stumble across a bale trailer which can pick up the conventional bales which I'm talking about because I know there are some out there which does pick, which do pick up conventional bales uh, but they don't seem to work with these ones please do let me know because if we can ever shift the bales out of the field that would be nice so for now they're abandoned but if we can ever move them it'll be great Right, I think we can sit back and relax. I have to say as well, it, it's a very awkward shape, this field. Oh, what's it doing? Hmm, seems to be okay. The shape is uh, of the field is very awkward, and I just put these two, as you saw, on a worker, the auto combine and they didn't mess up at all. It is such a good mod that. I'm sure it's better than it used to be. The new version is a lot better than the older one when I first started to use it. Someone also said, um, this wasn't long ago, this was a few hours ago before I recorded this, uh, the 750 Lexian, this might be right by the way, I don't know, they probably are correct, uh, wouldn't normally be used with 1200 header in the UK because of the yields, the UK yields um, are high um, and the combine or something wouldn't have a big enough tank or something, I'm not sure exactly what, it, what the reason was for it, uh, but something about you wouldn't normally see that set up. So yeah, it could be could be right, I don't know. Um, just interesting to hear. I think we'll probably buy the loader at the beginning of the next episode before we set the combines going again. Because if I start having to faff about having to set the uh, course play up, the combines will be waiting for a long time before a tractor comes. Right, that's two full trailers. Let's go and sell them both. This tractor always feels so heavy when it's got a full trailer. So this should be, I think, between 30 and 40,000 pounds we get from all this lot. If it's 25,000 for one, the other trailer isn't as big. So, fairly reasonable. Of course, a lot of that is going to be spent on rent, but not to worry. Also for maintenance, which took all of our money last time. We were on about 30,000 and it took us down to about 5,000. But I guess that's what happens when you have big machinery. You have to pay a lot in maintenance. Twenty five thousand six hundred and forty nine for that one. Now for our second one. Which won't be as as impressive, but it should still be quite good. Twenty-five 
22,800. So, almost 100,000 in total. That's pretty good. Now, we're going to leave it there for today. But next time, which will be in a couple of days' time, we will, first of all, bring a loader over here, set up the course play and sell a lot of this, if not all of it. And then we'll continue and hopefully finish that field. There isn't too much left, especially with two combines. It should be done in no time. So, until then... Thanks for watching and hopefully you'll join me tomorrow in Iron Horse Farm. Bye for now.